So I said to my guys the other day, did you know that there's a woman driving your fire engine? And they said, yeah, we let her vote now as well. (laughs) (laughs) It's just just sort of camaraderie of it, isn't it? What first drew you to the fire service? The challenge of of differences every day. I like working with people. And yeah, well, I don't enjoy the fire service, so I did. And I just thought, yeah, this is the job for me. Didn't really think about... You know, that there weren't any other women, it just didn't even occur to me. What's your experience of how women are perceived in the fire service? There's not really that sort of gender difference as such, is there? With people who are already in the role, Mm. um, they're just, it's very much with everybody, as long as you get on with your job, if you're keen, you're motivated, you're proactive. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, whatever crew we go to, uh, and a lot of our crews now do have at least one lady on there, some have got two or three, Um, and it's just normal, there's no deal for us. So we've got quite a few women firefighters uh, that I personally speak to on a sort of day-to-day basis and I think it's really positive positive. and also because those women are quite, from my point of view, quite strong women, um, it's, it, I don't give it a second thought, it's norm to me. Still the public now, just especially if you're driving or <laughs> if you're in charge or anything like that, they, they say to me all the time, and this is like up to recently even, can you go and tell your gaffer this? No, no, that is me. No, no, can you, no, go and tell, no, go and tell your gaffer, no, no, that's me, I'm in charge, yeah. I'm in charge. I've got a massive tabard on that says yeah. officer in charge, but you're still going and speaking to the men because that's just what they're used to, isn't it? There is a place for everybody in this service, and I think as a service we are very good at caring, um, and we, we see good, we see highs, we see lows, but it's a lovely, lovely place to work and we see some, we have some really good times, we? do, they? we have some great times. <laughs> I'm often asked, do women have to go through the same training as the men? Yes, we do. Um, exactly no, the same. Exactly. There's no um, easier or sort of slightly reduced... Um, amount we still have to be able to do the same because at the end of the day we still have to go and do the same job. So have you ever been exposed to any of these comments or similar ones? Women aren't strong enough to be firefighters. It's nothing against women, it's just biology. If my house was on fire I would want a man to deal with it. I have had all of those questions and um, smiled nicely. Nearly all of them comments, I yeah. can say, yes, I've been um, <laughs> subject to. But being a firefighter isn't always about being physically strong. Yes. That there's mental strength, there's empathy, there's kindness, that our communities need to be understood, that there's such diversity within our communities. Why isn't that diversity reflected within the fire service? I know, I've turned up at school, and you probably had the same thing. Uh, and I've got to reception, and there's the ladies at reception sitting there, and they're looking over my yeah. you know, all of my four foot ten inches shoulder, saying, and I'm saying, oh, were you expecting somebody else? And they're saying, well, yes. And it's like, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously we've had some questions come through, and one of them's about where do we sleep at night, and whether we share them, um, share the dorms with men. I know at my home station we have separate dorms. Um, but I've just came off a night shift um, where there's mixed dorms and yeah I, I'm happy I don't mind sharing the, yeah. a dorm with blokes. Some stations that have mixed dorms there's some that have single dorms and it's about everybody feeling comfortable yeah. so it's not just about the female feeling comfortable if she wishes to you have to have separate changing areas mm-hmm. um, which is absolutely fair but dorms can be mixed. If you had to give your younger self advice about joining the fire service what would you say? I think, yeah, um, try it, definitely. Um, because I think um, if you keep thinking about it, oh, shall I, shall I, shall I? You won't do it. Yeah, just do it. Yeah. You might get in, you might not get in, but there might be another chance for you to get in later. But just go for it. Yeah. Don't hang back, because that opportunity might never be there again. And you think, oh, and you know, and if I hadn't picked that paper up on that day, I wouldn't be sitting in now. Yeah. We've now got a lot of women chiefs in the organisation and I think that the young women today must take those role models and really look at them and say, you know, that is something I can aspire to be. I could be a chief officer. Have confidence um, and be braver. There is a well-known saying, isn't it? It's like, but what if I fall? But what if you fly? And I think in this job, people have given me wings and we have flown 